Polarity differs from path in the sense that polarity defines the relationship of the fibers within the path. A specific transmit fiber at one end must connect to a specific receive fiber at the other end. In single pair applications, the transmit fiber of the pair on the active electronics is by standard always on the left looking into the transceiver transmit receive. So the net effect of the polarity of the cabling infrastructure is that the pair must be flipped in that the transmit at one end is connected to the receive at the other. A 10G channel implemented with duplex LC connectors would be represented schematically this way, looking into the end of the connectors that plug into the active electronics. There are a number of options to achieve this. One could make certain that the infrastructure, trunks plus cassettes, blades, or other branching devices always flips the pairs. A second would be to use a straight infrastructure with a patch cord that is straight through at one end and a second patch cord that is flipped at the other end. In a cross-connect scenario, this can get even more complicated as there are more flips enforced by the patch fields. If the infrastructure is designed to migrate to higher data rates, where the fiber groupings are now multiples of 8 or even 20, yet more complications ensue. Clearly, minimizing the variations in the infrastructure are important to design and installation, and especially during upgrades, migration, and troubleshooting. Reducing variations is critical.